It's Ports of Call Waterfront Dining, award-winning service and cuisine with a view of the dynamic L.A. Harbor from every seat. For reservations and directions, visit portsofcalldining.com or call 310-833-3553. Twenty years ago, when I moved to California, I went to Wells Fargo to open a bank account. The teller was young, beautiful, Vietnamese. My first thought was, you know, I might have fucked your mama. My second thought was, you know, I might have killed your mama. I took my receipt, went outside, and threw up on the sidewalk. And you wonder why I have trouble sleeping. You wonder why I broke the lamp and punched a hole in the wall. You wonder why road rage makes me feel so good. My body came back, but not my mind. I will always be 10,000 miles away. Welcome to the very first episode of Love and War, the podcast in which the irresistible force overcomes the immovable object. I'm your host, Lee Ballinger. I'm an author, poet, and producer based in Los Angeles. If you want to know more, check out my bio on Facebook, L-E-E-B-A-L-L-I-N-G-E-R. You can hit me up at rockrap at AOL.com, R-O-C-K-R-A-P, or on Facebook. Almost anyone in America who says something accurate about our society will be immediately accused by friend and foe alike, of preaching to the choir. Somewhere it was decided that this is a terrible sin. Let's examine this. All polls show that the majority of U.S. residents are in favor of free universal health care, oppose police brutality, support the rights of immigrants, want an end to the prison industrial complex, oppose current U.S. wars, and seek an end to homelessness. If we're not supposed to talk to the majority of people, who are we supposed to talk to? The problem is not preaching to the choir. The problem is that there is no choir. There is a huge number of individual singers who want to change the world. They need to be shaped into a choir that can sing coherent songs, that can give direction and support to our desire for a different kind of society. This won't happen if no one preaches to them. Here's a great poem called Street Poet by Keith Jones. I'm trying to rebuild a community in which one day I will die. My hood is your hood, and your hood is mine. Jumping over barricades, ducking yellow police tape, tiptoe past white chalk, fanning gun smoke out my face. My vision is pigeon-toed no more. We need help down here, supporting Cali streets, like we all in New York, trying to rebuild a community in which one day I will die. My hood is your hood, and your hood is mine. L.A. got twin towers, too, packed with poets like me and you. That's me, you see, on the sidelines, asking questions, walking infants to safety, passing out first aid, on a bullhorn, losing my voice, going hoarse, trying to rebuild a community in which one day I will die. My hood is your hood, and your hood is mine. Horseback riding the metro with the freeway as a lasso, hogtied in harmony, from Beverly Hills to Baldwin Park, Encino to East L.A., it don't matter where you stay, love's gonna get there some day. Speaking of love, I have a new book out called Love and War, My First 30 Years of Writing. You can download a copy absolutely free at loveandwarbook.com. That's loveandwarbook.com. 
Let me know what you think of it. My friend Drew Amavisca and I have been working on a film called What Can Be for almost 10 years. Looks like it will take another 10 years to finish it. While you're waiting, check out this scene from the movie. Camera moves slowly down a street in suburban Los Angeles. At the end of the block, the camera stops and pushes in on a house with a wide driveway and a foreclosure sign out front. Inside, the house is empty, with wall-to-wall carpeting, wood paneling, and mood lighting. The camera moves slowly through the house. In the first bedroom, there is a doll lying in the corner. We hear someone singing a lullaby. Hush, little baby, don't you cry. In the next bedroom, there is a poster of Tom Brady on the wall. We hear a teenager say, Hey, Dad, I made the varsity. In the last bedroom, we hear the muted sounds of a couple who have just finished making love. Sounds of kissing, nibbling, barely audible moaning. The sound of them both flopping onto their backs on the bed. They sigh. Man, that was good. Woman, laughing. For you, maybe. She shudders audibly. Oh, yeah. Oh, shit, yeah. Out into the backyard, the camera focuses on a portable barbecue. We hear food cooking and the sounds of a party. Voices of all ages. Camera moves into the living room. We hear... Woman. My boss told me I don't have to go to St. Louis next week. Fine with me. I would have had to change planes in Dallas. I hate that fucking airport. Man. At my job, everybody's freaked out about the layoffs. But it's only 10 people. I've been there 20 years. I'm good. Foreclosures, like the one in our film, often lead to homelessness. A few weeks ago, I got together with about 15 other people down in Santa Ana in Orange County and went to the Civic Center to feed the homeless. There are over 1,000 homeless people living at the Civic Center, living outdoors, all races and ages together, including many young children who have to watch out to avoid being kidnapped by the state of California and sent away to foster homes just because their parents are poor. Then on August 1st, the Santa Ana police shot and severely wounded a homeless man, unarmed, who lived in the parking lot of the Civic Center. Two days later, sheriff's deputies in Castaic, California, shot and killed a homeless man, unarmed, as he was running away from them. The situation at the Santa Ana Civic Center is just the tip of the iceberg. There are millions of homeless people in the United States of America. How can this happen in the richest country on earth? That's a good question, but a more important one is, what are we going to do about it? Let's finish up with a quote of the week. This one from Carlos Santana. At the Latin Grammys, Carlos said, I envision a world where water, electricity, food, and education would be free for everyone on this planet. That's it for now. If you see me on the street, smile back. Pop, 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 go to pistol. Bang, 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 go to gun. One.